different conceptions of life from one body to another as the air carries aromas. Thus he takes one kind of body and again quits it to take another. Per what? Here are the living entities described as each fara, the controller of his own body. If he likes, he can change his body to a higher grade. And if he likes, he can move to a lower class. Minute independence is there. To change his body undergoes depends upon him. At the time of death, the consciousness he has created will carry him on to the next type of body. If he has made his consciousness like that of a cat or a dog, he is sure to change to a cat's or a dog's body. And if he has fixed his consciousness on godly qualities, he will change into the form of a demigod. And if he is in Krishna consciousness, he will be transferred to Krishna Loka in the spiritual world and will associate with Krishna. It is a false claim that after the annihilation of this body, everything is finished. The individual soul is transmigrating from one body to another, and his present body and present activities on the background of his next body. One gets a different body according to karma, and he has to quit this body in due course. It is stated here that the subtle body which carries the conception of the next body develops another body in the next life. This process of transmigrating from one body to another and struggling while in the body is called karshiti, or a struggle for existence. Shri Ram Yadavat Noti Yats Chap Yukramati Shraha Krahit Vaitani Samyati Vayur Gandani Vashayat. The living entity in the material world carries his different conceptions of life from one body to another as the air carries aromas. Thus he takes one kind of body and again quits it to take another. Mamo Vishnu Gadaya Krishna Pristai Bhutta Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tanamane Namaste Saraswatam Deve Gauravani Pracharane Nirvishe Sha Srinivadi Paskatya De Sutarna. This is one of the verses that summarizes the philosophy of Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada says that the soul, he has a choice where he wants to go to. If he likes, he can go upwards, 
And if he likes, he can go downwards. Of course, we may wonder that it seems that most people don't know they can go up or down, and therefore, generally, people are just going down. They don't really know that they have a choice. They think that their choice is simply limited to whether what kind of beer they're going to drink. Because the educational system is rather limited in the present society, because it's all based upon the Bali concept of life. People are, as it says here, are struggling with their body, but because they love their body, they don't mind struggling with their body. When they have to struggle against other people's bodies, it becomes difficult. But struggling for their own body, they think it's blissful. I mean, maybe not blissful, but they think it's certainly a worthy struggle. They feel duty-bound, whatever happens to the body, to try to take care of it. Because basically speaking, we've transferred our loving propensity to the material body and the subtle mind. And ultimately, when all that fails, we transfer it to our false ego. Even my body's failing me, it's sick, it's dying, but still my false ego, I'm in love with it, my false conception of who I think I am. All the worthy deeds I've done, everything I think I've done in this material world, I'm just enamored with my own wonderful activities and pastimes. So more or less, we're imagining that this body this present body is some kind of divine creation manifesting some divine pastime in a divine world. And some, somehow or another I become the hero in some drama that's going on and everyone else is more or less the assistance in the play. And ultimately the whole idea of the play is that my activities will go on forever ever being sung, at least within my family, my dynasty. <laughs> my great-great-grandchildren will go through their family album, and as soon as they see the, my effulgent picture, they'll all bow down in ecstasy and say, yes, he was the Adi Purusha. Go Vishnu Adi Purusha and Ham Vajaka. Or the heroine that actually I manifested Radharani's love in this world and therefore my name and fame, glory and pastime should go on being sung forever by selected poets. Of course it doesn't work out that way, we get a little stone somewhere with our name carved on it and some, you know, wor worms come and greet us. Huh? It's a Sunday feast. <laughs> And they all choose the different parts of our body to, to manifest their, their loving embrace. <laughs> in any case, sometimes we just hover around as this, in a subtle body, waiting for someone to come by and offer us a few flowers, cry over our tomb, and then we think my whole endeavor in this world was worth it. At least I have one pure devotee who's manifesting Bob in my presence. Of course, this is all due to uh, illusion. But the question is, where are that soul who struggles so hard to get name, fame, glory, to get a comfortable life? It's very hard for him to translate some so. It's too fast? Yes. Slow down. <laughs> Maybe he can sit there and, and... If we go slower, it would still be difficult. Most of the point, he cannot translate most of the points, so he's Okay, just... sit there. Okay. <laughs> Should we start over? Om Namo Bhagavad Gita. So I use that 
point with Radharani. Till yeah. there, there I translate. Till okay. then I miss. So if we're not for, if we're not two handed Narayan. Dakle, mi mislimo da smo dvoruki Narayan. We're Radharani. Sa Radharani. Without the sakis. Bez gopi. <laughs> So the real the real point is that we have to cut we have to make a choice whether we want to elevate our consciousness or degrade our consciousness. Glavna poenta je da trebamo odlučiti da li želimo da uzdignemo svoju svesnost ili da degradiramo svoju svesnost. Or just follow our kar- karma that we were born with. Ili samo da sledimo svoju karmu sa kojom smo rođeni. This is what's being encouraged in our society. Simply eat, sleep, mate, and defend. I to je ono što se ohrabruje danas u modernom društvu. Jednostavno jedite, spavajte, branite se i imajte polne odnose. But do it in, you know, with some kind of finesse. It's some kind of? Finesse. Finesse. Ali uradite to sa nekim finesama. Yeah, be an animal, but be a very, you know, sophisticated animal. A budite životinja, ali budite veoma posebna, uzvišena životinja. So when they prefinjena. show you, you when they take a picture of you in the magazine at the restaurant, you know, your fingers don't touch the, the blood and the meat. It's a nice fork and knife. I onda pokažu u nekom magazinu vašu sliku iz nekog restorana kako su vam krvavi prsti, imate nož i viljušku i neko parče mesa sečete. You have a nice napkin to write, wipe the blood off your. Ili dobijate lepo salvetu, dobrišete tu krv oko svojih usta. You're completely, you know, you have a nice glass to put the ferment, the rotten grapes into. I dobijete jednu jako lepo staklenu čašu da sipate u nju fermentirano trulo grožđe. Your third wife or fourth wife really loves you. I vaša treća ili četvrta žena možda vas voli. That you send you, you're sending in your alimony pay, payments for the children every month so you're a good person. I onda šaljete svaki mjesec alimentaciju za svoju decu iz prethodnih brakova. Imate 15 dece i to znači da ste dobra osoba. Yeah, this idea that, you know, if you're an animal, you might as well be a, a, a well-known animal. But actually, the aim of human life is to learn how to become a human being, first of all. Ali pravi cilj ljudskog života je da pre svega naučimo kako da budemo ljudsko biće. That would be a great elevation for society. I to će biti veliko napredovanje, veliko uzdignuće za cijelo ljudsko društvo. And that's really what education is meant for. I to je zapravo ono čemu je obrazovanje namenjeno. And that's what and part of that is just to get the higher taste. I deo toga je da dobijemo neki viši ukus. People are con- some, some or another by modern education, they're convinced that the lower taste is actually the higher taste. A i na neki način pomoću modernog obrazovanja Ljudi su ubeđeni da je niži ukus zapravo viši ukus. They can actually be happy by looking at everyone trying to figure out how to exploit them. I oni misle da je to u redu gledati na sve druge ljude i samo gledati kako da ih eksploatišu. How do you go to school, learn psychology and figure out how to manipulate people? Odete u školu i učite psihologiju pomoću koje saznate kako da manipulišete drugim ljudima. And if you go into business, then you hire the people who learn how to manipulate people. So you can manipulate not just your customers on your block, you can manipulate thousands and millions of people. I onda ako ste neki biznismen, onda učite kako da manipulišite ljude koji su zaposleni kod vas, vaše potrošače, kupce. Tako da zapravo učite kako da manipulišete hiljadama ljudi. And then as manipulating people taking their money, I nakon što ste manipulisali ljudima, uzeli sam njihov novac, house, onda kupite sebi veliku, veliku so kuću, cars, toliko puno auta kupite. I da li to znači da ste vi dobra osoba zato što imate veliku kuću i puno auta? No question of character. Sve su to pitanja karaktera. And there is no question of conscience. 
I sve su to pitanja savesti. And above all, there's no question of any love or devotion for anyone. I zapravo tu nema ni govora o ljubavi i devociji prema bilo kome. Just some service to some idea that if you get money, then you're actually a good person. To je samo služenje ideje da ako zaradite neki novac, onda ste dobra osoba. So, what kind of person actually has that? What kind of person he doesn't love anyone? He'll he'll sell his grandmother if, if he can make a profit. I kako je to vrsta osobe koja će prodati čak i svoju baku samo da bi ostvarila neku dobit? Here's my grandmother. She's half price today. A ovdje je moja baka. On sale. Danas je na sniženju. What kind of feeling? If the whole idea is, I think, glorifying it in all the movies, in the novels, you know, love. I koja je cijela ideja? Kad pogledamo u svim filmovima, u romanima, svuce je slavi ljubav. But if everyone is just an object of sense gratification, just not even sense gratification, just an object to manipulate to make more money. Ali ako su svi drugi ljudi samo sredstvo našeg uživanja, čak ne ni uživanja, nego sredstvo manipulacije da bi mi zaradili što više novca. Ili čulog uživanja. Just like they have this, they, I saw this course, it was a, the course was how to make women laugh. A ja sam video da postoji jedan kurs i taj kurs se zvao kako nasmejati ženu. So the idea of making women laugh is not to make them happy. I cijela ideja koja je bila iza toga nije da bi se žene učinile sretnije. The idea is if you make them laugh, you can manipulate them easier and then you can exploit them easier. A cijela ideja iza toga je bila da ako ih navedete da se smeju, onda ćete lakše moći da manipulišete sa njima i da ih zlopotrebite. And people are not even embarrassed. Yes, I'm going to manipulate you, exploit you. Chew you up and spit you out. A ljudi čak se ni ne srame. Aha, ja ću tebe da uzmem, da te zlopotrebim, da te iskoristim, da te prozvaćem i da te pljunem. Even the animals are not so, would be embarrassed. Čak i životinje bi se toga posramili. Even they have a higher standard. Čak i životinje imaju viši standard. But in modern society people are proud of their education. Ali u modernom društvu ljudi su ponosni na svoje obrazovanje. But what is it produce? What kind of culture is it producing? Ali kakvu vrstu kulture oni proizvode? If at the end of my education I, I become more unclean, I become more untruthful, I become more all the good qualities I lose. Kakva je to vrsta obrazovanja? Ako na kraju postanem još više nečist, još više pričam neistinu. Kakva je to vrsta obrazovanja ako izgubim kroz njega sve svoje dobre odlike? I simply become more expert at manipulating people and then utilizing them for my sense gratification. I postanem samo stručnjak, veliki stručnjak koji sve više zlopotrebljava ljude za moje lično čulno uživanje. Then what kind of education, what kind of culture they create? Onda kakva je to vrsta kulture koju ljudi kreiraju na taj način? But actually education is meant to create a culture where people are at least develop some good qualities. Ali zapravo obrazovanje treba voditi ka tome da postoji neka kultura gdje ljudi razviju bar neke dobre odlike. There is a class of people who <coughs> become brave. Well, first of all, there is a class of people who become clean and truthful and religious. Postoji klasa ljudi koja se trudi da bude čista, uredna, religiozna, istinoljubiva. Prabhupada used to when he was talking to Professor Kotovsky. Čila Prabhupada kada je govorio sa Profesorom Kotovskim. First he tried to convince Professor Kotovsky that the difference between the body and the soul. Prvo je pokušao da uveri Profesora Kotovskim. But Professor Kotovsky couldn't understand how the soul was eternal and the body is temporary. Ali Profesor Kotovsky nije mogao da razume, da shvati kako to da je duša večna, a da je telo privremeno. He went to school for too long to understand something so simple. On je išao jako dugo u školu, tako da nije mogao da razume nešto tako jednostavno. And so Prabhupada stopped trying to explain to him because he just couldn't understand. 
I onda je Šila Pravopad prestao sa svojim pokušajima da mu to objasni, jer je vidio da on to ne može da razume. It's like almost like you go out on the street and you find a dog and you say, my dear dog, your body is changing. To bi bilo kao da odite na ulicu i pokušate da ubedite psa. Dragi moj psu, tvoje telo se menja. But you yourself are a soul and you're not, you're eternally going to be a soul. Ali ti si duša i ti ćeš, nako što napustiš ovo telo i dalje, večno ostati duša. The dog may wag his tail. Pas će možda malo da makne svojim rebom. He might bite you. I možda će da vas i ugrize. He won't understand what you're talking about. I neće razumeti o čemu mu vi pričate. He's waiting for you to give him a bone and he'll, that's what he's waiting for. On čeka da mu date kosti, meso i to je sve. Enough with this philosophy, just give me a bone. Završi s to tvojom filozofijom, daj mi kosku. So Prabhupada stopped that and then he tried to explain to Professor Kutowski that society should be trying to create first class people. I onda je Šila Prabhupada prestao sa time da pokuša da ga uveri. I onda mu je rekao da društvo treba pokušati da stvori prvoklasne ljude. The idea that people should be clean, truthful, sense and mind control. Ideja je da ljudi trebaju postati čisti, istinoljubivi, da imaju kontrolu nad svojim telom i umom. Profesor Kotovski couldn't understand what problem was talking about. Profesor Kotovski i dalje nije mogao da shvati o čemu govori Šila Pravotov. So that's man's society. You have just from the top to the bottom. You have people with no conscience, no quality. The whole thing is that they're there just to make money. I tako je nažalost danas. Imate od samog vrha pa do dna ljude koji uopšte nisu savesni, koje samo zanima kako da zarade novac. Politician means that, well, we know. Instead of protecting the people, he's the one who's hired by the corporations who are trying to exploit her. I političari umesto da zaštite ljude, oni su zapravo unajmljeni od strane velikih multinacionalnih kompanija koje samo imaju za cilj da eksploatišu ljudi. Or as Prabhupada once said, organized crime means the government. Ili kao što je jednom rekao Šila Prabhupad, organizovani kriminal znači vlada. Whoever has the golden rule koji imaju zlatno pravilo. You know the golden rule. Da li znate koje je to zlatno pravilo? From the Bible, the golden rule. Iz Biblije, da li znate koje je zlatno pravilo? No one has ever heard the Bible. Niko ovdje nije čitao Bibliju. You heard the Bible? Ste čuli za Bibliju? In the Bible they have the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Zlatno pravilo iz Biblije glasi, Nemojte raditi drugima ono što ne bi voljeli da drugi čine vama. You heard that before? Da li ste čuli o tome nekad pre? But nowadays the golden rule is he who has gold. Ali sada postoji drugo zlatno pravilo. He rules. Onaj koji ima zlato, on vlada. But so therefore you have the loyalty, the people who are in the parliament, in the congress, they're just being paid by the people who are running the corporations. I zato imate poslanike u parlamentu, u skupštinama, koji su u stvari samo unajmljenici velikih kompanija. You have the, all the supervisory organizations who are supposed to look after the welfare of the people. Imate jako puno nadležnih institucija čiji bi zadatak trebao da bude da gledaju da su ljudi zbrinuti, da imaju sve što im treba. They're all just people who are coming from the very corporations they're supposed to be supervising. I koji brinu za blagostanje ljudi, ali na tim položajima imate ljude koji su unemljeni od strane tih velikih kompanija. It's like hiring some rabbits to guard the, the, the carrots. Tako da oni šta rade, unajme neke zečeve da štite šargarepu. How can they possibly do it? Kako je to moguće da se urati? Their whole idea is that they want the carrots and they can eat them as quickly as possible. Zečevi šta ime na umu, samo da pojedu šargarepu, što je brže moguće? Because there is no education. People don't know about karma, they don't know about, you know, the fact that they're going to have to take another body. Jer ljudi zapravo nisu uopšte obrazovani, ne znaju šta je to karma, nisu suočeni sa činjenicom da će morati da prihvate drugo telo. 
They just want to grab whatever they can now and put it into their stuff it into their face. Oni žele samo da zgrabe što je moguće više sada i da to stave u svoje usta. Before you know they leave their body for, and that's it. Pre nego što napuste svoje telo i onda je gotovo sve. There's no karma, there's no god, there's nothing but sense gratification. Ne postoji karma, ne postoji bog, ne postoji ništa osim čulnog uživanja. Therefore the Christian consciousness movement is introducing that there is a other destinies. Zato uh, pokret svesnosti Krišne uvodi to znanje da postoje različite sudbine. Introducing actual education. I on uvodi pravo obrazovanje. But it's not it's not sufficient just to introduce education we also have to introduce culture ali nije dovoljno uh, uvesti samo obrazovanje takođe trebamo uvesti i kulturu otherwise it's just so many words and people want to understand what we're talking we want to understand what we're talking about but to speak of anyone else jer ako samo imamo reči onda kako će ljudi razumeti o čemu se radi čak i mi nećemo razumeti o čemu pričamo so a culture which is ultimately based upon as Rupa Rupa Goswami says the six loving exchanges between the devotees. I ko je ta vrhunska vrhovna kultura, nju je objasnio Shila Rupa Goswami kao šest vrsta ljubavnih razmjena. Is the science of loving exchanges. To je nauka o ljubavnim razmjenama. It's not just a science where you, you know, you put something in the test tube and another thing in the test tube and explodes and that's the sun. To nije nauka kao da uzmete provetu, stavite jednu stvar, pa ona eksplodira, stavite drugu stvar, pa ona eksplodira. To nije tako. You know, the so-called modern science. You put this in the test tube, that in the test tube explodes and kills half a million people. A moderna obrazovanje, moderna nauka šta radi, stavi dve različite stvari u prvetu za testiranje, to eksplodira i ubije milijone ljudi. And the science is advancing. I kažu nauka napreduje. Half, everyone's dead, but science is, is quite a bit alive. Svi su već mrtvi, ali nauka još uvijek brda, još je živa. And we can just sacrifice another half million then you know another advancement for science. I sad kad bi mogli da pobiju još jedno pola miliona, e to bi bio još veći napredak. Because we don't need people, we need science. Jer nama ne trebaju ljudi, nama treba nauka. But actually real science is loving exchanges. Ali zapravo prava nauka znači ljubavne razmjene. But in order to actually have loving exchanges is a science that we have to follow of culture. I ta vrsta ljubavne razmjene, to je nauka koju trebamo da sledimo unutar kulture. So when Rupa Rupa Goswami says, Atyahara prayasascha pradapa niyamagraha jana sangha sarloyam cha shadvira bhakti prinashiti. He says too much eating, too much endeavor for mundane things, too much idle talk. I u tom stihu u obrazi podučavanja, Šila Rupa Gosvami kaže da previše jela, previše nagomilavanja svetovnog bogatstva, previše bespotrebnog praznog razgovora, To su stvari koje su prepreke na putu ljubavnih razmjena. Especially this whole idea of looking at everyone trying to figure out what to get from them. A specijalno ta ideja da posmatramo druge kao objekte od kojih možemo samo nešto da izvučemo na dobro. Jer svako je tako gladan za čudnim uživanjem. Tako da ceo svet postaje objekat čudnog uživanja. I onda razmišljamo, ovdje je jedna osoba što mi je juče nešto dala, ako mi da još nešto danas, postat ćemo još bliski i prijatelji. A ovdje je neko ko mi juče nije dao ništa. On je beskoristan. On je osoba koja me povredila pre tri godine. I još gledam uvek kako da ga se otarasim. In other words, as long as we're simply in the center of the whole universe. A drugim rečima osoba na taj način stavlja sebe kao da je centar univerzuma. Then everyone else is more or less just a prop. I have to figure out how to arrange them. What's prop? Prop is like 
you know, in a theater you have different props. Like sometimes they put a column here to represent the building. An object. An object. Onda osoba stavi sebe kao da je centar cijelog svemira, a svi drugi su samo tu neke, daj da kažemo, lutke koje stoje i koje su objekti našeg uživanja. You know, and if they don't act properly, we just ignore them or try and get rid of them. If they're not, we fire them from our play. I ako nam se ne sviđa kako se oni ponašaju, samo ih izbacimo iz našeg života. Because in our play, we have to be the center and everyone else has to be more or less part of our play. Otherwise, we try to get rid of them. U našoj životnoj predstavi mi smo u centru i svako treba da igra i da pleše kako se nama sviđa. And especially in modern society, the, the plays are just some kind of superhero. A posebno u današnjem društvu modi su takozvani superheroji. It's not even, you know, we're trained up to be, everyone has to be some kind of super Romeo or super Julia. Jer svi smo trenirani da trebamo da budemo super Romeo ili super Julia. And if you can't do it externally, at least within your mind. I ako to ne možemo učiniti i postinuti s polja, pa hajde bar unutar našeg uma da to ostvarimo. So sense and mind control, people think it's just, that's ridiculous. I ljudi kad čuju za kontrolu uma i čula, misle pa to je skroz bez veze nešto. They're just, the whole consciousness is just contemplating the objects of the senses. Jer cijela njihova svesnost je usperena na to da se fokusiraju, da kontempliraju objekte čula. Video games, spending the whole day killing things. Video igre, cijel dan provedu igrajući ih, ubijajući na sve strane. And that's the blood is, you know, spurting out from the, the characters he's killing, it's kind of boring game. I onda na sve strane ide krv od tih izmišljenih junaka koji ubijaju kroz video. Spending the whole day shooting people. Cijel dan provedu tako što ubijaju druge ljude. Way of developing higher consciousness. I tako pokušavaju da razviju višu svesnost. And then the rest of the day watching pornography. A ostatak dana gledaju pornografiju. Just to develop more loving feelings. Samo da bi razvili još više ljubavnih osjećanja. And then they wonder why they people can't get along with each other. I onda se čude zašto ljudi niko ne mogu jedni s drugima da se uklope. You looked at me the wrong way. Ti si me pogledao na pogrešan način. Just like we did in the video game. Baš kao što smo radili na video igre, a ovaj put se desi uživo. So real education has to teach people that there is a higher consciousness. Pravo obrazovanje treba podučiti ljude da postoji viša svesnost. And they at least have to utilize their senses for a higher purpose. I da trebaju iskoristiti svoja čula radi višeg cilja. They should offer their food to God, to Krishna. Da trebaju nuditi ili posvetiti svoju hranu, ponuditi je Bogu, Krišnu. Then they can eat something that will actually satisfy their desire to eat. I onda mogu zaista pojesti nešto što stvarno može da zadovolje njihovu želju za jelo. They should regulate their their eating, sleeping, mating, defending. I ljudi trebaju regulisati svoje navike poput jedenja, spavanja. Odbrane i polnog života. Then they'll find out their unhappiness is not because they don't have enough eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. I onda će zaključiti, pronaći da njihova sreća nije ništa manja zato što su smanjili jedenje, spavanje, branjenje i polni život. They're unhappy because they have too much eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. I onda shvate da su zapravo bili nesrećni zato što su imali previše svih tih stvari. And when they're not eating, sleeping, mating, and defending, all they're doing is thinking about eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. Jer obično ljudi kada te četiri stvari ne rade, šta rade, stalno razmišljaju o tome. They have no time to think of anything else. I zapravo nemaju uopšte vremena da razmišljaju o nečem drugom. Or is eating, sleeping, mating, intoxication, gambling. I obično razmišljaju jedenje, spavanje, branjenje, polni život, intoksikacija, kockanje. But if these things are regulated, then people will get a little clarity in their consciousness. Ali kada su te stvari regulisane, onda ljudi dobiju malo bistrine u svojoj svesnosti. But actually there are persons who have feelings. I onda zapravo shvate 
da su oni osobe koje posjeduju osjećanje. And they can actually develop good feelings towards others. I da zapravo mogu razviti dobra osjećanja prema drugima. Rather than just envy and angry, anger and hate. Radije nego da razvi osjećanja poput ljutnje, mržnje. If they understand how everyone has the same interest. I onda mogu da shvate kako zapravo svako ima isti interes. That if someone satisfies Krishna and Krishna becomes happy, then everyone gets the benefit. Da ako neko zadovolji Krištu i Krišta postane sretan, onda svi imaju dobrobit. Not that there is one bone, one bone, bone. Da, da. Not that there is one bone, you know, bone. Da, da. Just like a dog, in a family of a dog, you put one bone down and the whole family fights over it. Aha, nije da postoji samo jedna kost kao za pse. Stavite puno pasa, ima stavite jednu kost, onda svi se bore za tu jednu kost. I saw this film, they had one dog bowl, and they had a family with dogs in it. I onda gledao sam jedan film, tamo je bio neki pas i... Bila je činija sa kostima za pse. Cijela porodica pasila. I had the mother dog and the father dog and all the little dogs. And the mother dog was knocking all the little dogs out of the way. If she wanted to eat, the little dogs were trying to get in there. Da, i onda ta posuda, u njoj su samo bile kosti, a to je bila cijela porodica pasa. I onda mama pas je gurala male psiće da bi ona došla da prva pojede kosti, pošto je bila gladna. One bone and everyone's fighting for it. Jedna kost je, svi se bore za nju. So this is modern society. They think there's one bone everyone has to fight for. I to je moderno društvo. Mi sad da postoji samo jedna kost za koju svi treba da se bori. But actually there's a Krishna and everyone has the same interest. It's become Krishna conscious. Ali zapravo postoji Krishna i svako ima isti interes da postane svestan Krishna. And if one tries to become Krishna conscious, then the food gets better, the relationships gets better, one becomes more peaceful. A ako osoba se trudi da postane svesna Krišne, hrana postaje bolja, odnosi postaju bolji i osoba postaje sve mirnija. I onda je moguće da neko prestane da radi sve te odvratne stvari koje je radio. I ljudi čak može da se desi da razviju osjećaj savesti. Možda je bankar da se develop a little conscience and stop cheating people. I bankari onda možda razviju malo savesti da više ne varaju ljude. Maybe the politicians might get a little conscience and stop passing laws to make sure that everyone stays as ignorant as possible. I onda političari možda razviju malo savesti i onda prestanu da prave zakone kojima ljude ograničavaju da što više ostanu u neznanju. Maybe people would take responsibility for their lives and start to think beyond the television set. I onda ljudi će možda preuzeti odgovornost za svoj život i ga što dobijaju kroz televizijski ekran. Maybe people would think that there's something higher in life other than become a Spider-Man in the next life. I onda će ljudi možda da počnu da razmišljaju da postoji nešto više u životu nego da se postane Spider-Man. With this education and then a culture of actually Working cooperatively to spread Krishna consciousness. I onda šta je još kultura? Kultura je da radimo zajedno, da zajedno širimo svesto s Krištem. We're not about to, you know, love everyone in the sense that they think of love. A mi nije samo da kada to kažemo volimo ljude u tom smislu kao da to volimo sve. To actually see everyone as, you know, with four arms is from Vaikuntha. Svako vidimo sa četiri ruke da je došlo s Vaikunte. That takes a lot of spiritual advancement. Za to je potrebno puno duhovnog napretka. But at least we should see where we should cooperate to become Krishna conscious. Ali bar pokušajmo da sarađujemo, da širimo svestnost Krišta. A culture of spreading Krishna consciousness. To je kultura širenja svestnosti Krišta. If not to the whole society, at least to my family, to see that they become Krishna conscious. Ako ne mogu da utičam na celo društvo, pa hajde bar da probam svoj porodici da pomognem da postanu svesni Krišta. And if no one, I can't preach to anyone else, no one else listens to me, at least I should preach to my mind. Ako ne mogu propovedati nikome drugome, pa hajde bar da propovedam svom sobstvenom umu. But somehow or another, to give Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's gift to someone, at least to myself. 
Hajde da dam poklon koji je dao četanja Mahaprabhu nekome. Pa hajde bar da dam sebi. And at least as much as possible to cooperate with the other devotees for that Sankirtan movement. I hajde bar koliko god mogu da sarađujem sa drugim baktama unutar ovog Sankirtan pokreta. The culture where people can utilize whatever talents or energies they're willing to contribute in spreading Krishna consciousness. Ova je kultura gde svako može da doprinese svojim talentom da proširi svesnost Krišne. Then Krishna will become pleased and then they'll a manifest devotion within the society. I onda će Krišna postati zadovoljan i on će stvoriti, manifestovati devociju unutar društva. But if we think everything, you know, we don't really think your time movement, they tried that already, didn't work. Ali ako razmišljamo, o, pa taj Sankirtan pokret, ma već smo probali, ma to ne funkcija. To je neka stara istorija Hare Krišta pokreta. Now we're in a new age. Sad smo mi u novom dobu. The age where the Hare Krishna has become blend into the normal society. Gde su Hare Krishna postali izmešani sa modernim društvom. And you can't tell a Hare Krishna from a, a typical person on the street. I ne možete danas reći Hare Krishna nekoj uobičajenoj osobi na ulici. And now everyone thinks the Hare Krishna is they're good people because they're just like us. I onda uh, ljudi misle, ovi Hare Krišna su dobri ljudi zato što su postali kao mi. They look like us. Izgledaju kao mi. They act like us. Deluju kao mi. They probably are us. <laughs> They're exactly like us. Oni su upravo potpuno kao mi. <laughs> they don't talk about God anymore. Više ne pričaju o Bogu. <laughs> they don't use all these words like karma, reincarnation. <laughs> Više ne koriste te reči poput karma i reinkarnacija. They go to all the movies like we do. I dogledaju sve filmove koji mi gledamo. They curse like we do. Proklinju kao što mi proklinjamo. They fight like we do. Zadnje što je bilo? A, bore se kao što se mi borimo. They become perfect, powerful and happy like we are. Postaju potpuno dobri kao što smo mi. So that won't be very good because otherwise Kalki will have to come early. To neće biti jako dobro, inače će Kalki morati da dođe ranije. We hope Chaitanya Mahaprabhu didn't send him a message. Nadamo se da mu Chaitanya Mahaprabhu nije poslao poruku. I think we're going to have to end this yuga early. Doći da završiš ovu jugu ranije. It's getting worse. Postaje sve gore i gore. I was expecting it to end in 400,000 and 27,000 years, but it looks like we're almost at the end. Mislio sam da će ovo da se završi za 427.000 godina, ali izgleda da će ranije. No, it's it's really up to the Hari, the members of the Hari Krishna movement. We only have a little bit of knowledge. We don't really know so much about Krishna consciousness. I zapravo to je sve u rukama Hare Krišta pokreta. S druge strane mi zapravo nemamo puno znanja, imamo jako malo znanja. But at least we have a little experience. Ali bar imamo neko malo iskustvo. If you're drowning in the ocean. Ako se davite u okeanu. If someone lifts you one inch above the water, at least you're not drowning. Ako vas neko bar malo podigne par santimetara iznad vode, bar se više ne davite. So we have to at least stay one inch above the water. Tako, ajde, dostanemo bar par santimetara iznad vode. And the only way of doing it is by cooperation to spread Krishna consciousness. I jedini način da to postignemo je da sarađujemo, da širimo svesto s Krišne. And then one day the movement will actually be, will actually realize the power of the Hare Krishna movement. I onda jednog dana ćemo zapravo shvatiti moć Hare Krišna pokreta. Snad. That's probably that it's actually going to save this world from would have been a disaster. It is a disaster. From the darkest moment, the darkest hour of the world, the Hare Krishna movement will actually save this, the civilization. I Shila Prabhupada je rekao da će ovaj Hare Krishna pokret spasiti civilizaciju do ništenja. I rekao je da kada nastupi najtamniji čast ove civilizacije, Hare Krishna pokret će spasiti civilizaciju. So, I'll stop there. Any questions? Hvala ću ovdje da se zaustavim. Da li imate pitanja? Hvala vam.
practice. Yeah, I would like to ask you, Maharaj, what is the key ingredient for good cooperation on the long run? Uh, in the past, we have seen also amongst the leaders, amongst our neophytes or devotees who are here a few years. We tried many times, or leaders try many times, but uh, it seems that uh, just a few projects last, lasted for a long time. So what are the mistakes that we have to learn from and where is the room for improvement, what we can obviously improve. Pitao sam Maharadža koji su glavni sastojci potrebni za dobru saradnju. Uh, vidjeli smo u prošlosti i među vođama pokrete i među nama početnicima ili koji smo tu par godina da se desilo da veoma redko vidimo da je nešto opstalo stvarno na duge staze. I onda se ili da je nešto neki projekat uspravo na duge staze i pitao sam Maharadža gde je prostor za popravku i koje stvari on vidi koje su potrebne da se dodaju da bi pobočali sa radnjom i osobom. Organize. Organizacija and encourage the preacher. I uh, okrabrenje propovedanja. Okrabrivanje propovedanja. It's the only way of getting in the higher taste. I onda osoba dobije viši ukus. Preaching is going on, there are sadhana will go on. A kada propovedanje se lepo odvija, onda će se i naša sadhana popraviti. And if the sadhana goes on, then we'll realize we should follow at least four of the principles. A kada nam se sadhana poboljša, onda ćemo shvatiti, hey, pa pajde bar da sledimo ova četiri regulativna principa. And we follow regular principles and perform sadhana and preach, and gradually we'll realize the value of the Hare Krishna movement. A kada poboljšamo svoju sadhanu i kada sledimo četiri regulativna principa i propovedamo, onda ćemo polako shvatiti vrednost Hare Krishna poveda. Then we'll become enthusiastic to give it to others. I onda ćemo postati entuzijastični da ga damo drugima. And we'll realize why we should cooperate. I onda ćemo shvatiti zašto da sadhanjujemo. But there's no preaching going on. Ali ako nema propovedanja, onda ćemo zaboraviti koja je naša misija. Mi smo zaboravili kakva je velika kriština moć, zato što nemamo iskustvo u vezi toga. I zapravo je u propovedanju prilika da vidimo krištine moći. Moć je pokreta čitanjem Mahaprabhu da ljudi koji su na nižem nivou svesnosti da se preobraze i da se uzdignu na viši nivou svesnosti. I mean the potency of the preaching is there then we develop faith in Krishna. A kada vidimo moć propovedanja onda razvijemo veru u Krishnu. And then we can actually understand the value of the other devotees. I onda počnemo da shvatamo vrednost drugih bhakta. And the potential value of every living entity. I onda počnemo da uviđamo i potencijalnu vrednost svakog živog bića. Without that it's just different bodies trying to eat each other. Bez toga samo ćemo vidjeti različita tela koja pokušavaju da pojedu jedan drugog. Because there's a little bit of God consciousness still left in society. Jer još uvijek je malo svesnosti Boga ostalo u ljudskom društvu. There's a vague memory of someone like Jesus Christ or something. Postoji još uvijek neka bleda memorija, uspomena, sećanja na osobu kao što je Isus Christ. Therefore the society hasn't gotten to the point where, you know, people walking down the street, hunting people on the street. Jer ovo moderno društvo će dovesti do toga da ljudi love jedni druge na ulici. I da uzmu mrtva tela i da dovedu za gozbu u svoju kuću. Here's Teddy, our next door neighbor. Who is Teddy? Teddy is just his name is Teddy. Aha, ovde je Žika, moj prvi komšija. I brought him home for the barbecue. Sad ću da ga dovedem na roštilj. Maybe you can cook him up while we watch the football game. I možda ću da ga ispečem dok gleda futbolsku utaknicu. At least it hasn't come to that platform yet. Ali... Na svu sreću ljudi bar još uvijek nisu došli do tog nivova. But there's no, you know, preaching, there's no, there's no knowledge, education, what's going on, except for a little bit from the Hare Krishna movement. 
ali uopšte nema nikakvog propovedanja, nema nikakvog obrazovanja šta se zapravo dešava, osim od strane Hare Krišna pokreta. I mean, there's plenty of education going on. Sorry? There's plenty of education going on. Postoji jako puno obrazovanja koje se odvija svuda. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Like Walt Disney. Walt Disney is... He was a drug addict. Walt Disney je bio zavisnik od drogi. He spent a lot of time just taking LSD and other psychedelic drugs. Provodi jako puno vremena uzimajući LSD i druge psihodelične droge. That's where we came. That's how we got his inspiration. I to je način kako je on dobijao svoju inspiraciju. But his idea was more. He was. I think he was part of that whole group of people who thought that they were going to live forever. Ali science. Mislim da je on bio u toj grupi ljudi koji su mislili da će živjeti večno pomoću nauke. Therefore, when, before he died, they froze his body to death. I onda pre nego što je umro, zamrzili su mu, zamrznuli su mu telo skroz. And then after around 20, 30 years his body was rotting, so they had to do something. I onda posle 20-30 godina njegovo telo je počelo da truli, onda su nešto morali da preduzmu. But all these innocent cartoons for the children. Ali sve svi ti nevini i crtači za decu. They're just full of illicit sex, intoxication, meat eating. Puni su nezatkoni tog seksa, opijanja, jedenja mesa. Devil worship. Obožavanje djavola. They just, it's horrible what they. I to je strašno. If you look at the movies with some discrimination, you'll see that they're actually degrading the children. Anyone who watches these movies gets degraded. Ako gledate te crtane filmove sa malo moći diskriminisanja, vidjet ćete da ti crtani filmovi zapravo degradiraju decu. And that's the innocent ones. That's the innocent movie. A to su nevini filmovi, ti crtani. What to speak of the other movies. Šta da pričamo o drugim filmovima? What to speak of the fact that pornography they have more, they, the big pornographic industry is near Hollywood. Šta da kažemo o pornografskoj industriji koja toliko proizvodi svega da su skoro došli da su ravni sa Hollywoodu. And they said, last year they made 600 regular movies. I prošle godine su snimili 600 regularnih pravih filmova u Hollywoodu. And they made 15,200 full-length pornographic movies. Hollywood je snimio 600 filmova prošle godine, a pornografska industrija 15.200 filmova. The pornographic industry grows more money than the movie industry, the theater industry, the sports industry, the record industry, all of them put together. Pornografska industrija zarađuje više novca od filmske industrije, sportske industrije, industrije proizvodnje muzike razne vrste kad sve to stavite zajedno ovi ne zarađuju koliko ova industrija zarađuje Children in America they spend more time watching the television than they do at school Deca u Americi provode više vremena gledajući televiziju nego što provode vremena u školi And what to speak of playing video games A šta je tako da kažemo o igranju video igrica So that's the education To je obrazovanje So what kind of culture are you going to expect from that I kakvu vrstu kulture možemo očekivati od toga? We're just lucky our neighbors not shooting us and eating us for breakfast. I onda možemo biti sretni ako naš komšija ne dođe da nas ubije i da nas pojede za doručak. Because that day is coming. A naravno, takav dan će doći, dolazi. Only this Krishna Kanadis movement actually doesn't really have any clear knowledge. I zapravo jedino ovaj pokret za svesnost Krišne ima neko bistro, jasno znanje. Consistent, clear, but we have to apply it. Veoma jasno i precizno znanje, ali trebamo ga primeniti. We don't have four arms yet. Mi još uvek nemamo četiri ruki. We're not shivering out of devotional ecstasy. Nije da se tresemo zbog devocijskog zanosa. Or we can try to struggle with each other to cooperate to spread the Krišna consciousness movement. Već se trudimo i borimo se nekako da sarađujemo zajedno, da širimo ovaj pokret svesnosti Krišna. Iako ne spasimo nikoga drugog, bar ćemo spasiti sami sebe. 
at least we want you know have to come back and watch Bugs Bunny and our, our Captain Kangaroo or Mickey Mouse in our next lifetime. Mickey Mouse. Society. So now, uh, in Krishna consciousness, we, we are undergoing of the education and the, like hi higher knowledge. So now, I would like to ask you how sometimes we are we don't have realized knowledge and we stick to the principles and always principles are, are behind us and we push them and that create. This is my how how I. Uh, how I see it, that sometimes pushing the principles bring, brings in, in the society uh, improper behavior. So now I want to ask you, materialistic society is without proper behavior, and sometimes also we don't have proper behavior in, in our movement, as Bhakti Granta Prabhu was also asking, so many things were improper. So now I want to ask you how we could, without uh, realized knowledge, push the society in the right way, or something okay, like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Mahraj je govorio, uh, i nam je puno primjera, uh, uh, mi, mi se podvrgavamo i obrazovanju, uh, duhovnom obrazovanju, ali često, pošto nemamo realizovano znanje, onda, onda uh, pokušamo da guramo principe, krijemo se iza principa, namećemo principe, može bolje mi sad ide na srpskom, I onda, ovaj, I onda imamo opet jako puno uh, nepravilnog ponašanja kao u našem društvu. E sad, tu, tu onda nismo puno različiti od, da kažemo, od svetovnog društva i sad mene zanima kako mi da pokrenemo naš pokret na viši nivo ili da imamo jači pokret bez realizovanog znanja. Konkretno to su moje misli sad, ne znam šta sam uspio. I pravo za organizaciju i inteligenciju. A Šila Pravopad je rekao organizacija i inteligencija. Trebate praviti planove za širenje svesnosti Krišna. Svako treba načiniti svoj lični plan. I svako je neka vrsta vođe ili lidera. Naprimjer, ako je osoba porodični čovjek, onda osoba rad mišlja, pa čovjek, moram napraviti planove za svoju porodicu. Ako ja imam neku odgovornost u iskonu, onda odgovoran sam da napravim planove koje ljudi mogu slediti. Tako da potrebno je neko planovanje i organizacije u skladu sa šila pravo pa dobijem instrukcijama. Mi ne možemo samo da počnemo da pravimo svoje sobstvene planove. A ti planovi trebaju biti u skladu sa pravo pa dobijem instrukcijama i planovima. Mi trebamo da vidimo gdje je naša inspiracija and our intelligence can fit into Prabhupada's plans. Trebamo vidjeti da li naša inspiracija i naši planovi, da li su skladu sa šila Prabhupadovim planovima. But those who are leaders, they should see that this movement has a big mission. Ali oni koji su voće, lideri, trebaju shvatiti da je ovo velika misija. And those who are followers should also see it has a big mission. A oni koji su sljedbenici također trebaju vidjeti da je ovo velika misija. I ne trebamo biti zadovoljni sa svojim sadašnjim stanjima. Niti trebamo biti nezadovoljni zbog svojih promašaja i padova. I trebamo iskoristiti sve te neuspehe i padove koje smo imali, kao stubove koji će nam pomoći da ostvarimo uspeh. 
We're still all eternal no matter what happens. Mi smo još uvek večni bez obzira šta da se desi. Krishna is still God. Krishna je još uvek Bog. Nothing really has changed. Yeah? Nothing really has changed. <laughs> I, I zapravo ništa se u suštini nije promijenilo. Now that, you know, now because we made so many mistakes, we gave given up our rights as spiritual beings. Nije da sad zato što smo napravili puno grešaka da su nam uskraćena naša prava kao duhovnih bića. Krishna has decided to abandon Serbia and not be God here anymore. Uh, Krishna je zabranjen u Srbiji da više ne može da bude Bog. He's only God in, in Slovenia. On je samo Bog u Sloveniji. A možda i pomalo u Hrvatskoj. But he's definitely withdrawn from Serbia. Ali izbrisan je iz Srbije. All these atoms are all vacant now. All the little atoms are vacant. God has left them. Svi mali atomi su prazni, Bog ih je napustio. The little sign on them. I ostavio je mali znak na njima. Be back next Kali Yuga. Vraćam se sreće Kali Yuga. No, Krishna is still God, we're still his servants. Krishna je uvijek Bog, mi smo još uvijek njegovi sluge. And whatever we do for his service will be eternal. I šta god uradimo za njegovu službu, to će biti večno. But you don't know who sent Prabhu. Ali čitanje Mahaprabhu je poslušilo koji imao jako dobar plan. I mi samo trebamo vidjeti kako da ga primjenimo, to je sve. Mi trebamo načiniti napor i Krišna će nam pomoći. Ako jadikujemo nad svim problemima koje smo imali u prošlosti, onda samo tračimo svoje vreme. I onda ćemo načiniti maju srećno. Ali Krišta neće biti jako srećno. Niti će pravo pat biti jako srećno. I onda samo nas gledaju kako tračimo svoje vrijeme. Da li imate još nešto? Dobro. Bila Šuka Prabhu će sada podržati mali govor. Iskoli nas pravda nam da svanimo Haradžki. Čaj!